What's up Tarantula Collective? My name is Richard and today is a very special episode of Tarantula Tuesday. This is gonna be a Mother's Day edition and to celebrate, I have brought my own mother here with me to do a Tarantula Tuesday episode with you. We even got her in a Tarantula Collective shirt. So I hope you all enjoy this. And today I've got my mother here. This is Paula, and uh, this is our Mother's Day special. So we're gonna talk to her a little bit about some of this, the tarantulas and things like that. So you guys get to know her. Just want to introduce you to my mom. So uh, this is this is Paula. Tell tell uh, the tarantula collective a little bit about yourself. Well, my job that pays the bills title is infant toddler specialist, and I work with child care providers that take care of babies and toddlers. I do training and technical assistance. And then for fun, I play open mics all around my little town, or actually my tri-state area. Um, I do, uh, I play harmonica and guitar, yes, at the same time. And um, I have a little Facebook page called Ms. M.S. Paula Harmonica Mama. And I have some of my videos uploaded on there when I think about doing that. Very cool. She had a harmonica shirt on a few moments ago, but I talked to her into putting on one of the Tarantula Collective shirts. <laughs> so uh, if you guys want to check out her Facebook page and listen to some of her music, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, but growing up, we always had a whole lot of pets in the house. And uh, apparently I don't even remember all the different pets we had. She was <laughs> telling me a story last night. You want to tell them? Okay, so I did childcare at my house while they were growing up. And I was in a training class that said, if you do a unit on baby animals, you should really have live baby animals for the children to interact with. My husband at the time was doing promotional advertising and I asked him, I said, could you borrow from one of your farm stores a baby chick and a duckling and we'll talk about baby chicks and baby ducks. He's like, yeah, sure. True to his nature, he purchased them instead of borrowing them and brought home two chicks and a duckling. And we did our unit and I'm stuck with two chicks and a duckling. And I you know, let the duckling spend some time in our bathtub upstairs and we kept taking care of them and they're getting bigger and I'm like, I, we just can't keep these in the house any longer. What are we gonna do with these, Bob? And why did you buy them instead of borrow them? Because I figured the kids would kill them in a day or two. I didn't expect them to live. Um, but we were able to um, find an adoptive family, duck family on the Ohio River for the duckling. And a friend of mine from church took the two baby chickens and I was done with them. <laughs> Very cool. And so growing up, we also had, uh, tell me if I make, sometimes my memory is a little faded, so I f completely forget things like ducks and chickens, but then I also make up things that didn't actually happen. Okay. So, uh, if, if I remember, we had three dogs. We had a Cocker Spaniel, we had a Labrador, and then we had a Beagle for a while. Actually, yes. Did we ever have a cat? Yes. Uh, okay, I thought yes. we had a cat. I don't remember there is name. They were usually strays that we kind of let in the house, and they usually had a litter or two of kittens when they snuck in the house. So, yeah. yeah. And then we had, uh, let's see, we, I think I had tree frogs for a while, or at least one tree frog. Yep. And some anoles, like the little lizards. Yeah, because you stole them from church camp and brought them home. Salamanders. Yes. Yes. We and had a turtle. some salamanders, a turtle. And uh, let's see, there's also hamsters. Galore. A lot of hamsters. I think I was even breeding them. You Maybe, were. Yeah. And then you would trade the baby hamsters for hamster food and cedar chips and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a local pet them. store. I could I could bring them the baby hamsters and they'd give me store credit for them. And they uh, occasionally uh, escaped. Yeah, <laughs> a couple times. They see, would, what else yeah. did we have? We had, uh, oh, we had birds. We had a couple Quaker parakeets. We did. A couple cockatiels. We did. Some parakeets. Several. Finches. Yes. Was there something else? Nope. And yeah, and your turtle, you had him out in the backyard one time. We just like to let him stretch out. And we were getting ready to go somewhere. And I said, well, you better put your turtle away before we leave. And you said, no, he's too slow. He won't get out of the backyard. He came back and he was gone. He was gone. <laughs> a little quicker than I thought. Now, growing up, there was two things I wasn't allowed to have. You're like, you can't bring those in the house. And those were snakes and mm -hmm. spiders. <laughs> she was not too excited about it. I just remember. You can't have snakes. You can't bring snakes in the oh, house. Oh, well, you know, because the whole time you're growing up, or most of it, we were doing family childcare. 
it was actually against my regulations to have Sounds those. Sounds like a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> to have those types of things, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. So what we're gonna do with all that in mind is I'm gonna introduce you to some of the tarantulas. Now she's seen them before, she's been over. She's my mom, she's been here. But I'm actually gonna take some out of the enclosure, let her hold them. We're gonna bring out the snake and uh, just do a, do a little show and tell. <laughs> See how she reacts, oh, it could be fun. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start her off small. What I have here is my Brachypelma homori, which is the Mexican red knee. It's uh, juvenile. It's kind of small, so uh, we're gonna start off with that. Okay. All right. You sure you're ready? Sure. You ready to do this? Sure. All right. All right. So this is. Oh, don't kick hairs. This is Roton, the little Brachypelma homori. Oh. And if it starts crawling, just make an endless bridge. Just oh, gotcha. Moving your hand gotcha. over there. I think Rotan is saying if I'm like, really, really still, <laughs> maybe nothing will happen to me. You all might remember this one. We just did a video, Tarantula Tuesday video on it a few days ago. This is the Afonapelma chalcotes, the Arizona blonde tarantula, or the desert blonde tarantula. Uh, this one's a female. She's probably, I mean, she's an adult, so I'm guessing probably like eight years old. Wow. And she is a gorgeous one. She is. Pretty wild. <laughs> we don't normally handle our tarantulas here. Just kind of a special situation. I uh, introduced the mom to some of these guys, but as you can see, we got a table right here underneath us. So anytime you're handling tarantulas, you always want to be over a table or a bed or on the ground or somewhere where they're going to be safe. All right, we'll put this girl up and we'll grab somebody else. Sounds cool. All right, and here we have a hobby staple. This is the uh, Vicularia, a Vicularia, pink toe tarantula. This one's a little, a little quicker. Now Not these are uh, also known to jump. They're a tree spider, so maybe if we're lucky, it'll freak out and jump on her shirt or something. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, she's a gorgeous tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a little motivation. <laughs> now they're very fast in short bursts, yes, they but are. They, they don't go for very long that way. Whoop! Whoa. She took a little jump. She now sure she's did. crawling up your leg. Right, there we go. There we go. What is Richard doing to you today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put her back. Black on black. Come on. Oh, you're okay. Just like you're coming on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Get it wrong, Charleston? No. Where is she from? Charlotte, not Charlottesville. Something like that. It's right. Chesapeake, Chesapeake, Virginia. Oh, okay. That's where she's from. <laughs> you want to come and meet your meet my mother? Woo! So just wrap herself around you. Yes, yeah, she is. She's going pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. So I have grandchildren, grand dog. Grand cats and grand snakes and grand spiders. <laughs> You're a mother of tarantulas and spiders. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes me the ultimate G mom, right? Yeah. Ooh, that kind of tickles. She's going down my back. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. So you were uh, you were asking a question. Yeah, like in their natural environment, like what are they good for? That what are they good? Well, they, <laughs> they eat a lot of mice and rats. Yeah, that's what um, I meant. But like I was thinking, but they're king they snakes. So they also eat lizards. They eat other snakes, uh, even venomous snakes. Cool. You are going up my sleeve underneath <laughs> there. Let's not do that. There we go. I just don't like. I don't mind you being on top of my clothes. I don't want you underneath my clothes. We try to go up for shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
She's really very pretty. Not slimy, very, what? very no, smooth. Yeah. And... yeah, this is Nola. Hello, Nola. Oh, she goes, I want mine. Right, well this has been a fun Mother's Day special. Oh, hopefully soon this little lady will be a mother. Oh, got my beard. She's she's trying to run for it, I think. She's being a little camera shy. Yeah, so what do you what do you think of the tarantula collector? What do you think of this basement? I kinda like it. Am I am I crazy? Well, you know, you, you come by that honest. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm glad you got to come down and I hang am out. Too. I'm too. I this always like fun. I hope you guys enjoyed here. meeting her. This is, you know, it's not every day. My mom. We live about four hours away, so it's she yes. doesn't get to come up all the time. I don't always get to go down there, but I just wanted to introduce you all to her and let you guys meet her and see where all my craziness comes from. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna put Nola back. If you all enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below for all the tarantula moms and steak moms and people moms down there. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. Now I realize it's a couple days late. This is Tuesday. It's not tarantula Sunday though, but technically I'm shooting this video on Sunday, so it still counts, right? It does. Yeah, all right. So a happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I'm wishing you a happy Mother's Day. If you want to support this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get alerts anytime I post a new video. If you want to join the conversation, be sure to check out our Facebook group. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll, I'll have links for all of those down below in the description. Sounds good. And don't forget, all the members of our Facebook group get 10% off their purchases from Fear Not Tarantulas. So if you join, be sure to send a moderator a message and get your discount code. I upload videos every Tuesday, so be sure to tune in and check those out. And occasionally throughout the week, I'll upload some extra videos as well. Well, thanks again for checking us out. I hope you all enjoyed it, and happy Mother's Day, everyone. We will see you next Tuesday. We will see you all next Tuesday. <laughs>